as, ma as made uh, from last year to this year. Just what do you kind of credit that to uh, just from, from one year to the next? Uh, staying vigilant. Um, the only two guys we have returning, me and Mike, um, just kind of keeping the same culture rolling because we kept Coach Bostad. And, um, you know, the younger, guy, uh, the younger guys who are now on the interior brain, Drew, they've really bought into that. And uh, Trey mixed right in once he got here. So, uh, and all the younger guys are fitting in really well. How much is, is Trey, you just mentioned him, mixed in. How, how well has he, been, has he done? Um, just culture-wise, you mean? Yeah. Really good. You know, we hang out all the time. Uh, he's a really fun guy to be around. Carter, every, every week that this goes on with you guys undefeated, the pressure, at least from the outside, will grow. How have you guys kind of maintained just the levity in the bubble here, it looks like, the mentality of this this one week at a time, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0? Um, just coach, whatever Coach Sig says, you know, keep the standard. It never changes. You know, every single week we have to get it better each, each and every single practice, stack those days, and, you know, little by little it gets a little easier, so. Have you seen much of Michigan in, in terms of what they what they do? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, being being uh, from what we can tell from our scout report this year, uh, all the defensive linemen are pretty much retained guys from there. So we've seen them all before. Um, you know, every team comes with its own challenge, but um, as long as we stick to the books and hammer it out on the field, we'll be fine. Does it make you any more hungry that there are more high, highly touted recruits, highly touted NFL type guys on that defensive line? Uh, no, you know, just another week. Uh, you know, every team comes with a different challenge. So, you know, um, just putting your head down and putting the work in is what's key to that. Do you think playing the number one D line for Indiana helps you guys, or in practice, helps you guys prepare for teams like Michigan with these bigger talented guys? Absolutely. You know, Mikhail is a guy that I love going up against every week. He's so active. <laughs> he puts in the effort and he's really quick. Um, you know, CJ's made some great plays. He's a big dude. He's tough to move. And, uh, every every single week with every D lineman we go up against, it's very similar. So uh, it helps us out a lot. How do you just sort of assess the way you've played this season when, when you kind of watch yourself on film or kind of grade the way you've played? Um, personally, you know, there's there's always some cleanup things that I need to get done. Um, but from a playing standpoint, I think I've done pretty good. You know, um, all of us mesh pretty well when we do double teams together. Uh, whenever I'm going out on a single block, I feel like I can control my guy pretty well. So. Um, I would say in terms of that, I've been doing pretty good. I know you and Mike returned, but you got you guys also have three different starters from, from last season. Um, how are you sort of just able to make that work so quickly in terms of like communication and cohesiveness? Yeah, uh, cohesiveness comes from us just hanging out all the time. You know, we're, we're a very tight-knit group, so uh, I'll contribute that to that. Um, and, you know, they're, they're workers too. You know, all of us mix together so well because we have the same mindset. You know, we want to attack every single week, um, get the job done. What did building that chemistry look like in the offseason? Uh, no different than what we did before, you know. Um, I would just say getting together for some meals, um, maybe a little extra work out on the field when we need to. Uh, everyone, Everyone's meshed pretty well because everyone enjoys doing all the same stuff, so I would contribute that to that. We've heard Sig talk about not overdoing things over the course of the season. Teams get to November can be worn out. You guys are still pretty fresh out of all this. How's, how's your group feeling getting into this? Because you look just as good as you did week one, week two. Yeah, um, I think everyone's feeling pretty good. You know, uh, some guys have gotten banged up here or there, but you know, fighting through it. I think everyone <laughs> has just put their head down and you know, got in the training room when they needed to, and you know, that that has uh, contributed to our success and our health. You've worn down some teams. Um, that's a tribute, obviously, to your fitness and conditioning. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, Derek Owings, Dio. Um, you know, every Monday we're going to do striders, so we make sure that we keep up with our cardio a little what, bit. What are striders? Uh, just like 60 yards down and back, mm -hmm. just stuff like that. Um, uh, I would say that our pre-practice warm-ups are pretty intense, too, so, you know, get the lungs expanded a little bit, get the body moving, and um, it's the same thing for pre-game warm-ups and, you know, all the lifts that he makes us do. Um, it's really changed everyone's bodies because, you know, he, he really likes getting depth on squats, so making sure everyone's a little more flexible here and there, which makes them a little more durable. So how glad are you that you ended up coming back after you, you know, went in the portal initially after last year? Just that decision, how, how happy are you with that? It's no place I'd rather be. Have you seen some of the comments from the running backs in post games or whether they're impressors? Kind yeah, of I've, seen, I've seen a little bit, yeah. What were some of your reactions on some of your teammates on the O-line's reactions to that? <laughs> uh, my personal favorite uh, is Nebraska when Juice was like, that was like the Red Sea. And, you know, everyone just part. Oh, sorry about yeah, that. Everyone just parted and he, he could just run up the middle. That, that was, you know, 
being an O line, it's tough to get some compliments out here. So hearing that just warms the heart a little bit. What's the confidence in your group, though, knowing you've got playmakers like that all around you? Why don't you guys put up 47 straight on Michigan State in, in that last game, for example? And just week after week, this just keeps going. Yeah, no, nothing's really changed, you know. As long as we get our job done, and we have to do that to the best of our ability. And we know that with players like that, it's just going to mesh even better. So as long as we get our job done, then they're able to perform to the best of their ability. You have a unique kind of, um, you know, only one of the handful of returners here that has, you know, Wool and been here for three years. I mean, you, have you taken a second to reflect on kind of where this team was three years ago to now? Yeah, uh, I spent a lot of time on that. Um, it all started kind of around like week five, you know. Um, that we were going into Maryland for our first Big Ten home game. Uh, it was, you know, just really good to see the stands packed. You know, that was the game where it was like six had to study later and. You know, seeing the fan base rally around the football team was really special. And, you know, being, trusting the process, staying uh, here, just it really warmed my heart to see that. Two more for Carter. There's a lot on Saturdays. Do you get a chance to savor these home games, though? Particularly the last couple ones when this place has been filled oh, yeah. and been loud and rocking out of it. Yeah, and it, uh, I've savored them pretty well, I would say. Um, you know, my parents come up to every single game, too, home or away. So getting to celebrate the win with my family, like, it's just a different feeling. Else? I guess just where do you think the biggest, you know, talking about the turnaround in the last couple seasons, where, where do you feel like the biggest growth in the team has been? Um, I would just say, you know, working as a collective unit uh, in the past, uh, 20, 2022, 2023, uh, there was always like highs and lows of some positions. But now nowadays, like, you know, with everyone being held to the standard, everyone is playing to the best of their ability. So I would contribute that to that.